Hey, what's going on my fellow collectors? Jim here with another figure review. Today, let's take a look at the brand new Marvel Legends Black Panther movie figures. I went ahead and picked up Eric Killmonger and the Black Panther. Packaging is what we've seen before with the Marvel Legends. You got Legends series. Got a cool little image of the Black Panther there at the top. Nicely displayed behind the window, you got the Black Panther. On the side, you got really cool artwork of the characters. And one thing I noticed is that it's kind of neat is they actually show like the eyes in the artwork. I thought that was pretty cool on both of them actually. And of course we have the same picture on the other side. On the back we do have of course the promotional pictures along with a little bit of a read up for each character. I mean for the Black Panther. But yeah I figured just you know knock both of these out in one review. But that is the packaging. Let's go ahead and pop these open and take a closer look. Okay, here they are out of the packaging, along with everything that you do get with these figures. Let's start with Eric Killmonger. He does come with a couple different blades, so that's pretty cool. We do have this one. It's lacking some paint, but it's got a nice little sculpt to it. Pretty cool. We do get a little sculpted like wrap on the uh, handle there. So very cool. We get that blade. Then we get this other blade which is a little bit on the soft side and just kind of warped out of packaging. But we get a nice little sculpted kind of wraps and ties going all throughout it, two different colors. So, you know, for what it is, it's very nice. We get a couple different weapons. And then for him, we do have two interchangeable hands, basically a gripping hand and then a wide open hand. So you get one of each. And the hands are actually done really nice. I really like the sculpting stitch work all throughout it. You can kind of see it a little bit better on the open hand, but really, really nice job on these on the sculpt on the hands. And then of course we get the nice gold for the um, you know nails and this this part of the hand here. So very cool. And then for the build a figure piece, you just get the uh, left leg, and that has some pretty neat little sculpting all throughout it. And then of course for the regular Black Panther, he basically comes with a pair of fists which seem a little bit on the small side, really, to me. But he does come with a pair of fists. And then he comes with the kind of like, you know, wide open claw hands. So they're very cool. And they're not, the, I thought they were exact same as the other uh, Black Panther figure we got. But they are a little bit different. They're definitely two different sculpts, that's for sure. He kind of has like some padded knuckles on this one, where on that one we didn't get that. So, very cool. And then we do get the unmasked head for the uh, Black Panther figure. And man, Hasbro, I'm loving this new, you know, digital print. That looks really, really good. That's almost like import quality for a head sculpt. Really, really nice job. I, like my only gripe, I guess, is maybe the skin tone is like a shade too light. But man, really, really nice job on that head sculpt. Looks just, it looks awesome. And even for the uh, build a figure. That head sculpt turned out really nice as well. If I can get it in focus here. But yeah, really nice job. So I'm definitely digging this new print technology that they're using at Hasbro. It's going to make for some great figures coming up this year. But as far as the figures themselves, let's start off with the uh, Black Panther here. Take a closer look at him. And, you know, for the most part, it's a really nice figure. You know, we got, it's basically just black with some silver accents, but we get that really fine kind of detail all throughout this suit, which is sculpted on really nice. And I guess it's more of a preference thing. I actually prefer the, the other Black Panther movie figure. I just like the design of this one a little bit better than I do this one. But, you know, that's strictly just, you know, whichever one, you know, you just personally like better. But I kind of prefer this bigger one. So that, there's a little comparison between the two. They are a little bit different. We do get these butterfly joints with this one that we did not uh, get with this one. But I like the chest. The chest just seems a little bit broader on this one. Or on this one it seems like it's a little bit kind of scrunched in and just too, too narrow, you know. But two completely different sculpts, that's for sure. So nothing was used from this one for the new one. But uh, starting off with the mask, you know, the mask looks good for what it is. We get, you know, that really fine kind of detail all throughout the mask. So I think that turned out really nice. And of course, we get those really nice kind of silver accents all throughout with the white eyes. 
So really, really cool. I like the ears on this one a little bit better. So there's things I like about this one that, you know, I wish they would have added to the old one, but I don't know, something about that old uh, Black Panther suit just I, I like a lot better. But again, we get the silver uh, accents on the necklace here, and then we get really, really nice stitch work all throughout the figure, you know, the, like the line work all over the place with the more silver accents here, like on the uh, gauntlets and everything and then of course you have the nice silver for the hands or the fingernails and then again we get this really nice kind of you know silver paint for these parts around the boots which look really cool and then the feet I like the feet on this one a little bit better we get these nice little silver accents again and we actually have like some sculpted in toes they didn't paint the the, the nails on the toes I think that would have been a nice touch if they would have painted that but I do like this look other than what we got before, which is like a foot soldier look, you know. And then coming up to one side of the figure, again, we get that really nice kind of sculpted line work all throughout this. Sculpted, nice sculpt work here on the back of the neck. And again, with like, kind of like that sculpted pattern all the way throughout the back of them. But yeah, nice, nice look overall. And as far as articulation, they did improve the articulation, uh, more or less just in the butterfly joint, so that is cool that we get that. But the head, you know, you get your standard swivel. You do get really nice down. There's like detents in the neck for whatever reason. But you get really nice down. You get uh, really nice up. And you get a little tiny bit of side to side pivot, just a little tiny bit. And as far as the shoulders, of course, you get that butterfly joint. Which does, you know, a pretty nice job. You know, it goes about that far back if you really, really force it. And then about that far forward if you really force it. So that's cool. And of course we do get, you know, that, that'll swivel all the way around. You do have a bicep swivel. You do have a double jointed elbow, which gives you about that much. And as far as the hands, you do have the swivel and hinge. We do get a crunch, which will crunch them forward a couple notches. Crunch them back a couple notches. You do have the waist swivel. The legs will kick out that much. Kick forward. Kick back but off to an angle, but it will pretty much go all the way back. Then you do have got the thigh cut in there. Double jointed knees. Then you have the you know hinge which brings the foot really nice back. Really nice forward and of course you have the forward facing pin for the rocker. So yeah, really nice articulation in this guy. And then as far as the unmasked head on there, it looks a little bit silly, but I mean, it works just because, I don't know, it seems like it's a little bit too small or too high up on the neck, you know, especially looking at it from the side, but I mean, it's still nice and it's still a huge, huge, uh, you know, upgrade from what we got with the last one. And for those who want to know, you can interchange the heads. I mean, you can put this unmasked head on this body or put the mask head, this mask on this body. So that is cool that we can interchange the heads between the figures. But let's take a look at Eric Killmonger here because he is really, really cool. I think I like this one a little bit better than the actual movie version. This one is really cool and two different sculpts. You know, you, you know, you would think that they would have used the same sculpt and just, you know, painted it different. Two completely different sculpts. So that's really cool that they did that. But taking a closer look at Eric Killmonger here, really, really awesome job on the helmet, the mask. That just looks so freaking cool. We get really really nice sculpt detail all throughout and then we kind of have this kind of gold hints all around them so that's really really neat it's almost like it's airbrushed on her because some places are a little bit darker where then it kind of fades and it gets a little bit darker but yeah that just looks absolutely awesome i love the look of that very cool really nice sculpt work too and then you kind of get like a panther print all throughout the figure and I don't know how good it's going to come up on camera yeah it's not really coming up is it but there is a very subtle panther print all throughout the figure 
So that is really, really neat and a really nice touch as well. But again, we get really nice sculpt work all throughout the figure. And I like, you know, even though we have the same kind of butterfly joint, the sculpting of the chest isn't as bad as it is on the Black Panther. I don't know, I guess just because more or less the shape of this just makes it look so narrow and kind of silly. Looks a little bit better, better here on the uh, Killmonger figure. But really nice sculpt all throughout. We get really nice, you know, intricate little sculpt lines and details all throughout the figure. We get the nice gold accents. Very cool. And then again, we got that like, you know, panther, cheetah, leopard print all throughout it. And that is just so cool. It's kind of coming through a little bit. It's kind of hard to see, but in person you can see it. And then we get like these kind of like, you know, embossed dots all over the place. So that's really, really cool. Great sculpt work all throughout this figure. And we get the actual, uh, you know, toenails painted on this, this one. Again, with the gold accents. But yeah, just a very, very cool looking figure. There's something to see all over this thing. Again, we get those kind of embossed lines here on the arms. And taking a look at the back of the figure. Again, we get that really nice, you know, print all throughout. And again, with all the kind of crazy, intricate little details all throughout. So very, very cool. And as far as his articulation, it's pretty much the same. Uh, you do get, you know, rotation at the head. You get up, but not, I don't know, it's like, it's almost like, I guess there's a little bit of a detent in there, so you can shift, you know, forward and back. But even, you know, shifting it all the way back, you don't get the best up range, but it's, you know, decent enough. You get, of course, really nice down. Back of the neck looks really silly for whatever reason. Then, of course, we got these really nice butterfly joints. So, you know, you can pretty much bring the arm that much forward, bring it really nice back. So nice movement with that butterfly. Of course, you do have the hinge, which will hinge out about that much. That will, of course, swivel all the way around. Bicep swivel, double joints at the elbows. Of course, the hands, hands do swivel and hinge. Then, of course, we have the crunch. So you get really nice crunch forward, really nice crunch back. Swivel at the waist. Legs kick out really nice. Kick forward, kick back, but, you know, off to an angle. You do have the thigh rotation in there got the double jointed knees foot you know hinges back that much hinges forward and of course you have the forward facing pin for an ankle rocker and both of the figures do have you know two peg holes at the bottom so i mean overall very very cool figures that's for sure i'm digging this you know this black black panther movie line looking forward to seeing the movie too when it comes out uh, as far as height, it looks like Killmonger is a little under six and a quarter inches tall. Get him to stand. And as far as the Black Panther, it looks like he is almost the same exact height, maybe a little bit shorter than uh, Killmonger side by side. But very, very cool figures. Let me get Black Panther standing here so I can give you some size comparisons. If I can get him to stand. But of course, here he is compared with the Civil War um, Black Panther. So that's a comparison between all three of them. And then here is the uh, Captain America Marvel Legends. This gives you a little size comparison. Both figures are awesome. You know, either one's going to be a good one to pick up. As far as the weapons, I forgot with the hands. You know, he will hold on to these, all of the weapons, really good. So yeah, guys, that was a look at the new Black Panther movie wave. Very cool. We had the Black Panther and then the Eric Killmonger figures. Both of them are really, really cool figures. I love how the fact that we can, you know, interchange the heads and swap heads on all three of the figures. Same thing with the hands. That is cool. We can add in some... I love in the new uh, face print technology they're using. Very cool. So that's the review, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next figure review. Take care.